birch bark canoe is synonymous with our way of life. It transformed the abundant waterways into travel corridors and made the world beyond the riverbanks accessible. We can credit the dramatic change in transportation that the canoe brought due to the abundance of trees, most especially the birch tree and the ingenuity of the First Peoples. They knew that birch bark is slow to rot and tolerant of both frost and heat. They gathered the materials and with the use of very few tools, added a liberal lashing of spruce gum to make it waterproof. This made a canoe that was seaworthy. There are many shapes of canoes. Some have higher prows, wider bases, or varying profile shapes. These differences are based on specific nautical environments like windy lakes or fast rivers. The canoe, with its frame of wooden ribs and skin of birch bark, has remained unchanged for thousands of years. It opened the waterways to personal navigation, brought the economic advantages of trade and commerce, and allowed for freedom of travel. As commerce grew, so did the demand for the canoe. As a result, the canoes that were made at this time were bigger. The fur traders used canoes that required a crew of 12 men and hauled a cargo as heavy as 2,400 kilograms. The expansion of the fur trade owes a huge debt to the canoe. The canoe was right for its time and right for all time. That's why, year after year, on friendly waters everywhere, the canoe makes its quiet return.